And load alone, load, load. wrong with another Rang Rouge unit of the week. And today we're taking a look at Stu, 42 Assault Gun, available to 91st Lufflander, 3rd Falchager, and 16 Lothdruff Divisions. So a Stug 3, or the early models of a Stug 3, with the short 75mm gun, was designed to be a pure infantry support assault tank that would be assigned to infantry divisions. But because commanders got tanks and thought, hey, we have tanks, why don't we use them to fight other tanks, they started using the Stug to be a more regular tank tank hunter, like a normal tank would do, where the early model Stugs weren't that good at that, because the short 75mm gun wasn't that effective against enemy armour. But nonetheless, that came to be, and the Germans would end up given the bigger and more powerful 75mm guns that could actually knock out enemy tanks. But by 42, a 75mm gun wasn't deemed efficient enough for an assault gun role to deal with emplacements and bunkers, fortifications, etc. And so, they got 105mm LEF Howitzer and put it in a Stug 3, and known as the Stu. 42. It'd make over a thousand of these vehicles, and essentially they were doing what Stug 3 was originally meant to do, and that was pure assault gun operations. In game, the Stu 42 is a 110 point support tank available to the 91st Lufflander, 3rd Falchager, and 16 Luftwaffe divisions from A to C phase, and it has two weapons. So we have the 105mm LEF Howitzer, but for direct fire this time, instead of an artillery piece with 4 accuracy, 6 rate of fire, 15 HE with 30 round of ammo, 1.2km range, and 38 meters area of effect damage. It, uh, it causes a medium sized boom, it has good range, it's a fairly standard assault gun, to be entirely honest, and generally have an MG42. Pop down to Miss Colonia stats, got 10 frontal armor, 3 at side and 4 at back. Okay, we have bad stealth, a speed of 28 kilometers off road and 63 kilometers on the road, and very low optics capability. In battle, the Stu 42 is really your standard assault gun. It is rather amusing how it is only available to airborne style decks. But it does make sense considering that the German airborne units weren't exactly jumping out of planes by 1944. They left out behind in 42. So it makes sense, logically, for them to have Stu 42s. And it's a rather capable support tank. It's got a good amount of armor to protect it from at least six pounders a little bit from long range. And it can deal with most anti tank guns rather easily because it does have that 1.2 kilometer range. In a third Falchega and 16 Luftroff decks, yeah, pretty decent to be entirely honest, but really the Stu 42 signed in 91st Lufflander, mainly because you can get it in A phase. Yes, you only get one per card in A phase, and you don't have that many support tabs to really work with, but by god, even just getting two of these guys in A phase is usually more than enough to give you that early game advantage, as we're usually only facing six pounders, which the Stu can survive. And it can easily kill him because it can outrange those six pounders as well. And considering that your other tank options in order for decks aren't exactly great, the Stu 42 really fills in that very useful anti tank tank to kill anti tank guns, is what I'm trying to say. It's a nice support tank overall. And uh, I'm going to leave it off at that. It's been another Angry Gent of the Week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, please just take it easy.